let us enhance the usability of a game. Not necessarily the game itself, just the usability. In this case, this weapon, the Glock, in this game, Receiver 2, uh, creates a black flash over the entire screen when shot. Actually, it's all the guns. What am I saying? The Glock is just the best gun for uh, illustrating this. Look. You might have not noticed, but the screen went black for a frame or two. Let's uh, do auto, full auto firing, and you will see. I think you should have seen that. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's change the usability of the game, changing the intent of the developers. For the better or for worse, we shall see. For that I use DNSpy, and I'm gonna drag in this case the Volfire Receiver 2 DLL into DNSpy. And I'm gonna search using Search Assemblies, Control shift k And I'm gonna search for Fired Gun. A method in selected files. And we get one result. Double-clicking that leads us to this area where we have screen effect flash in this area. And all we want to do here is just disable this. So we're going to right-click, edit method, and um, I'm just going to comment this line out because I want it gone for good entirely. We could also do something like time scale is bigger than 0 0.5 and and time dot time scale equals equals 0 which is impossible. It cannot be bigger than 0 0.5 and 0 at the same time, but this preserves the code. It just never gets, uh, it never becomes true. So let's just save the module. Press OK. And I'm just going to restart receiver now. Here we are. Let's shoot. As you can see, no more flash. But also no more ammo. Oh, wait, we have some more. There we go. So this is one example of how you can change the usability of a game for better or for worse using one line change in uh, the NSPY if the game happens to be made in Unity and happens to not um, in, how do you say, compile the code to using IL or something. Anyways, hope this was useful. Have fun seeing your shots. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Jeez.